Hey there guys, welcome to part 15 of Let's Play Wonder Project J. The Great Rescue Plan. I wonder what we might be doing here. We'll find out. I wonder if there's some way we could rescue Mimi. Not that we can just sneak into the castle like thieves. Or maybe we can. Hmm. This kind of makes me nervous. Hi, 46. Look what I found, Daddy! Lynx, the crimson cat, probably left it. The crimson cat? It's Robin Hood! Except, not really. Basically, yes. Thieves are bad, aren't they? Ha ha ha, I'm not Lynx. Although I'm not so sure about the gang's other members, Rob and Bear. I love the name Bear. I want to be named Bear. But anyways, how do we want to start this one? First, we want him to forget how to throw a ball. Why? Because I say so. No. No. There's one thing I want you to do, and you probably don't want to do it anymore. Um, I'm going to pause it, this might take a little bit. Be right back. Okay, this is what we want him to do. Why? I don't know. You tell me. The sign of a Gijin. That could be important. Now Pino will identify himself as a Gijin. Anyways, our next task, after we whisk over there, is as fo is as is going to be shown. We need to teach Pino how to pick a lock. He can't actually open this door yet, so that's a good one that this is a good one to practice on. He has high enough thought that he should do it eventually. There we go. I want you to learn how to do that because you need to for the scene that's coming up. Come on. Okay, he understands. Anyways, next. Be right back. The back alley. We need to go in here. This is why Peter needs to be able to pick locks. What is this place? The Thieves' Den! And they sing. And do a really funny looking dance. Yeah. I love the jazzy music they got. And I don't know why they're going into the Meow Mix theme. Hey kid, I can see your eyes that you've got talent. Looks like he's got the skills to be a thief. Kid, if you can startle that holier than the police officer out there, we'll make you one of us. But, I gotta warn you, he's pretty tough and I'm usually surprised. You'll have to do something out of the ordinary to shock him. Hmm. I wonder what we could possibly do. It couldn't have anything to do with the fact that I just taught Pino how to spin his head around, could it? No, I really doubt it. Nothing at all. That couldn't possibly be related. I like Pino's grin there. He looks like he knows he's getting ready to cause some trouble. Oh look! A ball! Ha ha ha! Dot 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 dot. He's giving Torgo a run for his money! <laughs> Run away! Showed him who's boss. Hey, you did it! Spinning your head around like that, like if you were a Gijin. No fair using magic. How stupid are all the people in this world? Come on! Now it's time for the real test. I heard of an item in the shop that has been specially ordered from Messala. Yeah, let's steal something from Messala. He's a dick. 
two layers of security doors. This is the real thing. If you screw up and get caught, it's all over. You can count on it. Alright, that's the spirit. We'll make our move tonight. You've got what it takes, kid. Yes, we've made Pito into a thief. I'll go ahead and open the entrance for you. Be careful in there. Good luck, thief boy. I feel kind of bad about robbing the shopkeep, but... You gotta do what you gotta do. Crap. That's unfortunate. Anyways, I think this part's getting ready to run a little long, so... I'll, uh, train him up a little bit, and... be right back. Coming back for part, uh... 16, I think it is? Yeah. And we'll get that item.